Today we're going to work with one of Microsoft's newest applications, part of their Office 365 suite, and it's called Flow. Now Flow can be launched from either your application manager up here, or if you have it set up as your home page. So I'll just kick, click on Flow, and you can become much more productive than ever with Microsoft Flow, connecting applications uh, as never before. With Flow, you can connect your important emails to things like text messages. You can add Twitter feeds to CRM. The possibilities are really limitless as they add more and more applications that are supported by Flow. Uh, to get started, we're just going to walk through the interface here and create a couple of flows for you to show you how easy it is to get started. So, first of all, you can see that it works off of all different things, your cell phone, your tablets, your PC. So, no matter what device you're using, Flow will work in there. You can connect to a lot of your favorite services, obviously Office 365 but Twitter and Dropbox and Google Drive and all of these things, SQL, Salesforce, and so on. And all there are actually 43 different uh, applications here that you can connect through Flow to actually help you build a more efficient way of working in your workplace. You can start with a template, and you'll see that Microsoft has quite a few templates that have already been set up for you. All you have to do is really add your credentials to a bunch of the templates in here, and we'll actually go through and create one of these as part of the demo today. But you can also go in and create the flow that works best for you. So you can get notifications when a certain customer has sent you an email. You can get a text message. You can synchronize files. So anyone that's sending things through OneDrive or SharePoint, you can synchronize those files. You can organize your day. You can get automatic approvals. So a lot of things are in flow that just helps you be more productive, even if you're not sitting in your office. So let's get started and we'll make a flow today. So like I said, you can use some of the templates that are here inside here and you can see that and we'll just let's take a look at some of the things that they already have sent you can send or save email attachments to OneDrive uh, you can save email attachments to SharePoint document library you can use Wonderlist if we go down here uh, you'll see that on each one of these so if you want to save Twitter feeds you'll notice that they use the icons here to make it easy to find what you're looking for copy files between OneDrive and Dropbox, so if you're using both of those, uh, if you're using Yammer feeds, you can use them. Get daily reminders to your email. All of these things, these templates have already been um, made for you, and all you have to do is really come in here, click, and you're ready to rock and roll. So uh, let's go in here and just pick one of the easy ones. So let's, let's say that we want to save our attachments to SharePoint. So in here, you see that it's going to show you that you need an Office 365 account and you need a SharePoint account to get this tablet on the way. So all you do is click use this tablet. So you can see that right now it knows because I'm logged in here that I have an Office 365 account and I have a SharePoint account in Office 365 and these are my credentials. So if I didn't want to use that account, if I wanted to use a separate account, I can go in here and switch them very easily. If I hit continue, now it's going to ask me, okay, which folder path, by default, it's going to use inbox. So I can use really any of my folders that I have set up. And for this one, I'm going to use my DocuSign folder as my default folder. In here, I can go in and pick and it's, what it's doing is it's looking for uh, my SharePoint files here. So you can see that I have documents here. I have a whole bunch of different things that I have access to inside of our SharePoint uh, environment here at Champion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my DocuSign site because that's since I'm going to be replicating from my DocuSign folder to here. And then I can find the folder path that I'm looking for. And I'm just going to pick my uh, shared documents. I'm just going to put all things, uh, all my emails that 
go into my DocuSign folder that have an attachment will now have all of those attachments shared, put into my shared document folder. Okay, once I'm done, all I gotta do is say create flow. So as you can see, it's now saving my flow up here. And once it's finished creating this with all my credentials, okay, your flow is created to exit, click done, which we do here. And you can see this is exactly what we created. Save my email attachments to SharePoint document library. And that's anything that's saved in my folder of DocuSign now gets saved into SharePoint, into DocuSign, into shared folders. And I did that very easily with a template. These are the things that you can do very simply with flow. And to go back to the preview here, so if we wanted to create another flow, let's say that we wanted to go in here and just, let's see, what else do they have here that I could create for you today real quick. Um, so you can see this does not take, here is a, uh, a CRM to SharePoint. So you're gonna need a dynamic CRM account. You're gonna need a SharePoint account and a CRM online account, which luckily I have all of them. So you can see that it's already got it here. I can hit continue. So what it's gonna ask me is the organization name, and this is where uh, our CRM is, and that is the correct one. Our organization name, again, I'll put that in here. I'm gonna find a URL here just real quick in my SharePoint folder, and let's just pick the primary here. notification list. So you can see that I've just very easily put things in here. I can take what I want. So um, do I want the person's name? Yeah, let's put the name in there. Um, very easily done and we're finished. I don't want to create this flow because then it's going to it's going to upload a whole bunch of information into CRM. But that's really how easy it is to do that. So I'm just going to close this. And are you sure you want to leave this page? And we're done. So that's flow. Very simple, very easy to work with. All you have to do is come in here, try it out and see how things are going. You can also look in here in the activity and you can see what was sent successfully what wasn't sent successfully all in here you can see that here's one that failed so i can click in here and see what happened uh, all of them in here and i can go into browse and look at all of the most popular flows in here there's also a place to get some learning done inside here so if you want the documentation uh, it's all right here there's some nice quick videos to learn from uh, you can go in here and look at the blogs, the people that are blogging all about, uh, you know, the flow and different applications in here. Um, very simple, very easy application to use.